Hi, my name is Bob Casper. Uh, I'd like to summarize my presentation at Kogi uh, at Frankfurt this year. Uh, the presentation was about mitochondrial injection into the oocytes of patients with poor embryo development. Uh, this process is predicated on the discovery of egg precursor cells uh, by John Tilley and his group at uh, Boston. Uh, and these cells are uh, found in the, in the very surface uh, layer of the ovarian cortex, uh, are obtained by laparoscopic ovarian biopsy, and uh, the cells are isolated. Uh, mitochondrial preparations are prepared, and then during the time of a patient's uh, ICSI cycle, uh, a certain amount of these uh, mitochondria, probably around 10,000 or so, uh, are injected uh, into the egg with the sperm in about five picoliters of fluid. The idea is to boost the energy up in the uh, egg uh, to get the uh, fertilized egg and subsequent embryo to the blastocyst stage where implantation and a live birth can occur. Uh, so far we've done about 35 patients. We have nine ongoing uh, pregnancies and patients who had repeated uh, failed IVF cycles previously or very poor embryo development in the past. Uh, so essentially it was a very poor prognosis group uh, with only one uh, live birth out of 71 previous IVF cycles. And now with uh, t about 26 embryo transfers, we have uh, nine ongoing pregnancies for uh, a live birth or ongoing pregnancy rate uh, per uh, cycle started of about 26%. So essentially, I think we are able to bring uh, this very poor prognosis group of patients uh, back to what we would expect for their uh, age 